Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. The Celestial One must deliver the Forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power. Or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone from any time period back to the realm of the living. Guys! Guys! Stop! You both want the same thing! He's... actually right. It happens. Sometimes. Uh, more than sometimes. Thank you. Maybe we could... give each other a chance? All right. For that, I thank you. Now our empire, our people, shall rise again! I have everything I require. You and your odd assortment of creatures. In case you weren't paying attention, we took out Thanos. The Mad Titan, putting you in your place? That'll be nothing. Fool! Even still, you challenge me? Man, she even sounds like old Thanos. Where do bad guys all learn to talk like that? Kill them. Revenge, I get it! Hey guys, a little help here? What's the matter, Quill? Yeah. Is the big mean lady picking on you? Which is not yours to- <gasps> oh, oh, oh. 
in all of your tales and prophecies. Did you happen to see this? Mantis! Oh, right! Not working! Should only be an hour or so before we get there. You excited to go camping? Of course! Can I start the fire? Okay, but no lighter fluid this time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how are you feeling? I'll be fine, Peter. I, I, I promise. Mm. Okay. I, I just got worked up over you hitting that kid. <laughs> It'll do us both some good to get away from everything. It's a lost cause. We're too far from town. <laughs> Give it a rest. Give it a rest? And sit here in silence? Ugh, no way. Mom? I'm okay. We're okay. What? What, what happened? Oh, how did... How did we... We were just driving along and then you... You passed out. I'm so sorry, Peter. If you weren't here... It would have been much, much worse. This is my fault. I... I shouldn't have been acting like nothing's... What are you... It's getting worse, baby. I was supposed to check into the hospital this morning, but I just wanted to give you one last happy moment to remember me by. Before they plug me into some damn machine. I should have told you. I thought I could beat it. We have lots of memories together, and, and no matter what happens, I'm, I'm always going to remember how rad you are. You're a hell of a kid. We all have to go, sooner or later. But it ain't over quite yet. So what do you say, hmm? One last adventure together? We can still get to the campground before dark. Okay, Mom. Let's keep going. Thank you, baby. We'll make sure this memory's a keeper.
So we're all in agreement then. We sell the ship and split the dough. You promised money, not the tasty combination of water and flour. Quill's just knocked out, you morons. He isn't dead. But I already called dibs on his stuff. He's got tons of earth junk in his room. I'm sure that'd fetch a few units of the trader's market. Hey, you can't have my stuff, Rocket. Oh my god, Quill, you're alive! I'm so glad we don't have to divvy up all your possessions. That would have been terrible. You said you were looking forward to it. <sighs> well, we're not getting back up there. Great time to have my jet boots busted. I'll have to find another way out. Don't tell me you're afraid of that little guy. <laughs> yes, what a ridiculous looking creature. On my world, tunnel worms are filthy. They eat only rock and dirt. I have tried this for myself. It was incredibly destructive to my digestive system. I ruined many toilets. That's friendly enough, I guess. It is. It's okay. It doesn't want to harm us. It's just... curious. Curious about how we taste, probably. Is it chewing through that stone? Better that than us. Getting chewed to death is top five on my all-time fears list. Yeah. You're not so bad, are you? Huh. Bioluminescence. Probably how this thing communicates. Or draws in its unwitting quill-sized prey. It wants to stay with us. Maybe we should give it a name. Like a pet. I am excellent at naming things. I shall call it... Uh, blue. I'd call it... Hungry. No, no! Its name should be obviously a death trap. Cause that's what it is. That's not any good. Well, I think the name is extremely appropriate. No, not the name. That it's hungry. The creature is just a tiny nothing. It poses no harm to us. I am constantly hungry and have rarely injured you all. How about... Bowie? What is a Bowie? He's a musician we treat like a space god on Earth. I do not see how that is better than blue. The creature is blue. Bowie is fine. Great. The Guardians have a mascot. I am Groot. I'm the co-pilot. I ain't no mascot. Well, would you look at that? Bowie rocks. I told you guys. He's kidding us out of here. Wait, wait, wait. No one has a problem with this. The death trap thing was not just some cute expression. It's our only way out, Rocket. <sighs> I'm putting an I told you so in my pocket for later use. Peter. What about Nebula? <sighs> hey, buddy. Can you carry her? I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. Hey, Bowie, wait up! This beautiful, maybe I wouldn't be so psychically scarred. Look at that. What is that? I 
improved. Whoa, what are you doing, Pete? That crystal there is natural thorium. Just looking at one the wrong way can cause it to explode. Worth a ton of units, but highly volatile. Huh. I'm actually a little surprised no one's mined this planet dry. Maybe there's a reason no one tried. Um, not good. Guess what's happening, dummies? Rocket call. That thing led us into a death trap. They do not want to kill us. Just eat us. Guardians, time to exterminate. like the smell of fried worms to really lift your spirits. Yes. Just like mother's cooking. Here we go. Which way? One of these has got to lead us back to Hala. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. You actually want to keep going after Hala? Maybe you were watching a different show, but in the one I saw, the forge blew up in her face and she wound up with godlike powers. So, you're okay with being responsible for Hala laying waste to the entire galaxy? Wasn't my idea to try and destroy it. I said it would be bad news. Basically told you exactly what would happen. Boom! Forge in the face, Mega Hala. Magala. You are terrible at naming things. Rocket, you never said that. Did so. I am Groot. Ah, whatever. We had to destroy it. It didn't go as planned. When does it ever? But now, it's on us to fix it. You don't get to talk, Gamora. It's cause of you. We gotta carry out all this dead weight. She isn't dead. Yet. The word you're looking for is yet. She's as good as, if you ask me. No one did. I know I failed her. I don't need you to twist the knife. Hey, everyone needs someone like me. The guy who says what everyone's thinking, but is too much of a whip to do anything about it. No one else is thinking that, Rocket. Only you. Oh, when they rewired your brain, they must have screwed up. Because half the time, you're talking out of your ass! Hey, I didn't ask to be this way. Look, shut up, both of you. We gotta get out of here, and neither of you are helping. No, you shut up, Quill. I'm tired of hearing the sound your, your face is making. What part of shut up didn't you understand? Oh, I fully understood. I just chose to ignore it. It's called free will. And it's the only thing I ever exercise! Dude, <laughs> seriously, take all the things you want to say, wrap them up in a nice neat little box, flush them all down the toilet, and shut the hell up! No thank you. I can tell I'm digging under your skin. You really don't like when people don't listen to you, huh? How many ways do I have to say it? Shut up. Shut up? Shut up! Sparkin' the French? Let's shut the lay up! All right, enough already! Sorry, I don't speak, idiot! For the love of everything that is good and holy, shut up! <sighs> okay. He lit this fire just to watch us all burn. 
That's what he wants. No! What I want is to not see your face anymore! Fine by me. Hey, all this, it's your fault, Quill. If you hadn't exploded the forge, I'd have one less thing to be pissed at you for. Let's go, Groot. I am Groot. What? Oh, fine, you big baby. I didn't need any of you when I started in this business, and I don't need you now. Better off on my own. Gamora, wait up. Go with Gamora. I will protect the rodent. Do not worry. Sometimes I do not need to tell you how the others are feeling. Makes my job easy. to be the rational one. Yet you just storm off down some dangerous worm-infested tunnel? I'm I'm just mad because he's right. I pushed her away. And instead, she wanted to kill me. She nearly did. You never gave up on Nebula. What she did for you? She's proven she's not the same frenzied assassin she used to be. Maybe she has changed. But I don't feel like I have. I try to help others. It always backfires. Nebula, the Nova Corps, even Rocket, they... hate me. One day, assuming we survive this, you'll hate me too. I don't want to hurt you. I am groomed. Gamora, I'd never hate you. <laughs> How can you even say that? It's a thought I can't seem to escape, Peter. Look, Gamora. God, what is this stuff? <coughs> Toxic spores. <coughs> oh. <coughs> yeah, not toxic to everyone, apparently. Mm. He seems to like it. Mm. <coughs> okay, good, Groot. Very fashionable. I am Groot. <laughs> Gamora. Nebula, I'm here. We're going to get you back to the ship and repair you, okay? She's fading. We need to hurry. That's too far to jump. We're gonna have to find another way across. Hey, can you help me up into that tunnel? Yeah, let's go. Ready when... <laughs> cool. Glad I could help. Hey, group. We'll be right back. Thanks. Listen, I just need you to realize something. Nebula is just the beginning. Someone else is going to get hurt, or worse. I've been ambushed before, but this time, 
I see the danger coming right for us. I can't be responsible for my own family, let alone the whole galaxy. Once we get off this planet, I'm going to leave the Guardians. Gamora. If I'm alone, the only one who could get hurt is me. We did great things together, but the team's fractured. It's not like it used to be. Well, you'd stay for me, right? If you leave, I'm the one that gets hurt. Aren't I raising enough? What do... What do you mean by that? What are you trying to say to me, Peter? That there's something between us. You know how much I care about you. <sighs> Peter... I know you feel the same way. <sighs> Caring only makes it worse. Check this out. One, two, three! You're out of sync. Try it again. One, two, three! Again. One, two, three! Last time. One, Two, three. That should do it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Groot? <gasps> How did you even get over there? I am Peter, wait. What you said about staying for you. You're right. But I'm trusting you to protect all of us. I can't see a thing in here. Hold on, we're here. Oh, 
almost there. Uh. Oh yeah. Crap. Hey. You all right, Rocket? Uh. Uh. I feel like I just boozed for a week then took a header into Drax's fist. What happened? How'd you end up in... The... What, in a giant alien lunch sack? Never would have happened if you'd come with me. Everyone stay quiet. I'll get Drax. Wakey, wakey, big guy. Time to get up before the worms do. saying something. This is nice and all, but we really don't have time for it. Okay, Drax, that's enough awkward hugging for today. Seriously, Drax, get off me. I will help you. No, no, not you, Mantis. No. Still fresh. Must be close. Something small. Papa, you should have seen your face. Those tracks you left for me, Kamaria. They were a clever decoy. You taught me well. <laughs> but you didn't remember your own teachings. You have now completed the test of guile and diversion. These skills will serve you well on the warrior's path, where every child... Must leave their home and make the perilous journey to the training grounds. Take it seriously, Kamaria. I say it out of love, daughter. This path, it is not to be taken lightly. If... If I was scared, that would be all right, wouldn't it? Not that I am. It's just that... I mean... It is normal to feel scared. It is? Yes. So use it to make yourself more focused and less reckless in battle. I must admit, I do feel a little scared, but I will be stronger for it. We don't have long. Before you leave, I promised you. The tattoo! I am ready, Papa. <laughs> I know you are. Your first tattoo marks you as a warrior in training. You will add many as your journey continues. Relax, daughter. It will not take long. Mount Kylos, 
Your mother and I had our soul union there. I don't ever want a soul union. Never. Ever. I will become a great warrior on my own. I'm not like the other scouts. Talking as if they're already warriors. Standing with others makes you stronger. There is much you can gain by having someone at your side. Like you and Mama. Yes. She is much tougher than you. <clears throat> you are doing very well. I remember my first, and how much it hurt. Papa, there's so little time, and sometimes I feel like there's still so much to ask you. What is it you wish to know? What if... What if I face an opponent who cannot be beaten? I am strong, but I am small. I fear that my skills will not be enough when the time comes. Then you run, and live to fight another day. Great warriors always use their minds, like I do. Yes. I will be cautious. And what if... <clears throat> what will you do if I return more powerful than even you? My legend spreading across the valleys. Then we will have to fight each other. And that will be the day of your greatest defeat. Ow! It is done. It is us. There is one last test you must pass before you can leave. Conquering the unknown. It's too far. I, I can't see what's down there. You must jump. Unless you wish to wait another year. No! I'm ready! Like you said, it's normal to feel scared. I... I can't do it. You have to help me, Papa. Proud of you, Kamaria. You will do well at the training grounds. I'm gonna miss you, Papa. There's no reason to. Look at your tattoo and know I am always with you. I will. Papa, I must go now. Why are you stopping? I'm 
sorry I used my powers on you before. I didn't mean to. It wasn't intentional. I was only trying to pull him off you. Now really isn't the time for this. Then I will be fast. I'm sorry. I promised I wouldn't make you relive someone else's memory without your permission. Whew. Okay, we can go now. The ship! There's my girl! Hurry, Rocky! I'm trying! I ain't got long stick legs like the rest of you! Everyone take a seat, we're leaving! Did any of you get a good look at that thing? <laughs> what was that even? I am... A tree? Stop yanking my tail! I'm not in a rush to find out. Whatever it is, it has feelings. They're pure, relentless. Oh, that's just... It's gargantuan and... Maybe this plugged into the ship. She's stable. Okay, then we're good to go. Wait! I feel something. Someone is... starving. No, bigger! My hunger has no equal. Ah, once we're out of here, we'll get you some food. That is one big boat. I am brew. Wrong again. We're all gonna die. I'm Jake P. Not today. Dead? <sighs> Not quite. We're lunch! Or dinner. What time is it? In this slimy cave. It is... A big old stomach. Nebula. Okay. Oh, what the hell is she doing? Gamora, wait! <laughs> Plug her back in, Peter. No. Stop. Please. If your system's shut down, we can power them through the ship. It won't do anything. Stop being so stubborn. It can help keep you alive. I don't like... being tethered. No. I'm past that point. God damn it, Quill. He's trying to help, Nebula. We can't do anything on our own. I'll get Rocket. There's no use. It can't be put back together. This time. Honestly, it feels good to have parts of me. I wish I could have done this whenever I wanted. We're gonna get you help, okay? Rocket can fix anything. Not this time. Cascading system failures. The cybernetic parts of me are going dark. Organics will go offline much quicker. It's my idea to put all this in my body. <laughs> Told everyone who so I could be better than Gamora. Why did you really do it? To be more like her. I looked up to her. I was terrible to her. I nearly killed her. I... loved her. 
You don't have to. She already knows. Really? It doesn't matter. It's too late for Gabor and me. I'm a living reminder of her time with Thanos. She can't move on until that last... That last piece of it is gone. Things will be better, son. For everyone. Sometimes, it's even more important to remember the bad times than the good. To be reminded that no matter how terrible things are, you can get through it. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Peter. For listening to this. <laughs> Whatever it is. Hey. Hey. Do, uh... Do you want me to... I don't know people... Try to fix me. I, uh... Yeah. I get that. There's something I need to tell you. Sister. What is it? I... I know. I can sense your despair, Peter. Everyone's, really. Is Nebula still... I don't mean to pile it on, but I got some bad news, too. Our engines got thrashed when we were swallowed. Can we still fly this thing? Not a friggin' chance. Okay. Let's get back to work. Just want to focus on. In the end, she was one of us, a guardian. I think she liked it, <laughs> being part of something good for once. Nebula was the fiercest, most sinister opponent I have faced in battle. What I liked most about Neb was how much she hated Pete. Like in a deep, unrelenting way. Funny girl. I am Groot. Oh yeah. And she really seemed to care about you, Gumon. You should value the connection you two shared. To be alone is a worse fate. Speaking of worse fates, we gotta figure a way out of here before we end up like those poor bastards. Those poor bastards. Exactly! Huh? What? Look at all those ships. There has to be some parts we can salvage out there. You forget about that internal ocean of stomach acid. You can't just take a little swim. Then get me flying again. I'll see what I can do. I mean... I sure ain't dumb enough to go out there. All right. Let's 
find some engines. That'll do. Listen, I've been running the numbers. We gotta drop weight in order to take off. Drop weight? How exactly do we do that? Yeah, take everything that ain't bolted down and give it the old Chucky Chuck. The lighter we are, the longer we float. The easier it'll be to get airborne. <laughs> well, this place is a flying trash can anyway, so... Hey, speak for your own stuff. I got some nice things. Guns can be nice. Well, they didn't burst into flames. So time for round two. As long as I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. I hope. Rocket, any ideas on how to move these engines? My boots won't be able to. It's an engine, Pete. Just turn it on. Good. A giant red button. This always ends well. Just had to put in some elbow grease. Which sounds gross now that I think about it. an upset stomach. Empty, of course. Hey, Rocket. Kinda busy, Pete. What's up? Would a piece of thorium work as starship fuel? I suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so... Yeah, it'll explode. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just... <laughs> just curious. Don't mind if I do. This doesn't work out. Oof. What a way to go. Easy, big boy. Get off my back! There's no friggin' way in hell I'm getting rid of this! I'm sacrificing all my extra knives and swords. How many swords do you have? Meanwhile, Rocket won't give up one of his guns. Yeah, but check it out. Not now, not ever. I built this thing with my own two paws. Okay. That's way too awesome to trash. See? Quill understands the value of a good gun. They don't understand. Possessions are meaningless. All that matters is the trail of blood we leave after slaughtering those who have wronged us. Oh. That's some image. After our shared experience, Quill, I discarded everything. Even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Hovat. I'm sure it must have been tough. It was. Supremely. But after you entered me... <laughs> yeah, I, I entered your mind, right? I knew it was the right thing. 
Well, at least you actually listened to me. Unlike some people. You see that, everyone? Drax went and threw everything away. You should follow his example. Why? Shouldn't our leader set the example? You hear that, Groot? I guess Drax is our leader now. I am leader? Your room is still full of keepsakes, Peter. Since I'm the leader now, I request that you all kneel before me. No, no, just... just stop. Let me show you how it's all done. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my room and sacrifice the crap out of some personal stuff. Oh man... Where to start? Throwing away their belongings is certainly upsetting the others. What is it about these... things? Why do they hold so much emotional weight? Why does your loyalty to things outweigh your devotion to others? These things aren't just things. They define us. <laughs> I'm a long way from home. These are the last reminders I have of who I am. They're you! Of course! Hello, Peter! I will think about this more. There is much I can learn from you, it seems. One thing I learned about the Guardians is nobody ever makes sense. All right. Let's get started. Oh, man. This one's pretty emotional for me. My first hunt back on Rayjack. <laughs> I remember it like yesterday. Finished first place for taking down a massive... I sense a lie. Last place. This was a trophy just for participating. Screw the pity prize. A photo of me and Mom. You should keep that. It weighs little in your hand, but much in your mind. No, I'm keeping this. Besides, it doesn't weigh a thing. Yondu gave me this. Not sure how he'd feel knowing I dumped it. This Yondu has a strange way of showing affection. He has a lot of strange ways. Trash. Well, the dream of a Guardians baseball team dies today. I've never owned anything before, but I wish I had something to throw away to help the team. Even though you said these things are who you are. Here, you can start your own collection of odds and ends that you'll be forced to throw away in order to escape a giant alien worm. Thank you, Peter. This is the best. Baseball glove. The best baseball glove I've ever seen. Gather round and be led by example. Huh. Wow. Yeah. Totally sacrifice things. Fine. The gun goes. You happy? Consider my swords ditched. I am Groot. Man, that is... Really sad. Isn't it like a cousin or something? <laughs> no, 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 no. You should keep it. Agreed. And what of this one? <laughs> Bowie! How did it get in here? Probably followed us through the caves. This is why you don't befriend strange creatures. Nah, no way. Get rid of it. But he's so lonely. That little bastard ran us straight into a trap. We're keeping him. That's the end of it. Fine. What else we got to ditch? Well, I think Mantis has something to... I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> the thing I gave you to, to give away. Oh, I want to keep it now. You said to be a part of the team. Yes, but it's mine. Yes, yours to give away. Politely decline. Let the bug keep it, Pete. Jeez. He obviously does not want me to have the baking glove. Uh, uh, <coughs> baseball. Great, great. So, we all did the thing and got rid of some stuff and we're such great friends now, but there's something I'd like to point out. The tape deck. I've done the numbers and that thing has to go. Rocket. Okay. It's how we listen to tunes. It's how I share myself. 
It's real weird and all, but even after Peter's inspiring sacrifice, it's gonna be close. I'm thinking it's better to be safe and lose the extra weight. We'll need the beat. You'll see. Trust me, have I steered us wrong yet? Don't answer that. Just the trust thing. Do that. Better hope one of those engines is in more pristine condition than it looks, Quill. That's the spirit. See? We need hope. And music. Who's ready to take off? Ready to attempt it, I suppose. Then it's go time. It's now or never. After Groot and I install the engines you found? Yep. Right after that. Exactly. Ready to bust out of this rock lobster? Engines are online, Pete. Now we just gotta, uh, pick an exit. Uh, are you actually implying? Yes, this worm is a meat tunnel. We could either go out the mouth side or the back side. I am Groot. <laughs> Groot doesn't want to fly out of a giant worm's giant posterior. We're already facing the colon. We should head out the colon. Would you stop saying that word? That is the word for what it is. It is a colon. Well, I vote mouth. We already know the Milano uh, fits that way. I ain't got a ton of interest getting wedged in this thing's. Uh, Say it, raccoon. Say colon. Wormhole. Oh, I can't believe we're wasting time arguing about this. This is what's wrong with this team. <laughs> we're going out the bum. Colon, Peter. It's pronounced colon. It's working! And it's gonna be gross. The ship's never gonna be clean again. Just get us out alive, please. No problem. We'll be out of here faster than you can say. Explosive diarrhea. Never tell anyone about this. The universe must hear of this glorious day. The Guardian's great colon escape. Oh, how exciting! Go team. Oh good. Sounds like somebody's coming back for seconds. Okay, okay, I hear you. It looks like one of our shiny new engines got itself turned off during our grandiose exit back there. Can we fix it? Sure, you can. Just climb out onto that wing and turn it back on. Me? No, I didn't volunteer. Yeah, well, you're the only one who can sort of fly, so it's gotta be you. Uh, fine. Okay, I'm out here. Are you gonna slow down so I can do this? And let the giant hungry monster catch up to us again? I don't think so. I'm just gonna tilt the ship so you can walk around the wing. Ready? Uh, I don't think that's a safe One, two, three. Jello runs it 
inside the ship. How did that get damaged? Yeah, so uh, one or two of the worms may have made it inside. Well, somebody deal with them before the ship sheds itself apart. Come, tree. We shall peacefully resolve the situation with our knives. family, like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. I told my daughter to run and fight another day. I have run for years. This is the day I fight. I will go alone into battle and slice this beast from mouth to colon. You will not have a good day. Well, you better do something quick down there. The ship break it up. Please, Peter. Give me this. Trax. We're losing engine power. I am. Tell me what I have to do. Hit the button once I am inside. I will take care of the rest. Thank you. My family will be proud, and I will tell them of my best friend, Peter Quill. You're a hero, Drax. No, I am a guardian. the trick. Whoa, you okay? Nice work, buddy. I am Groot. Why? What happened? You okay, Pete? Where's Drax? to slow the creature down. No! What? He's... gone? We have to go back. Come on, hold on. We can't go back. We're limping as it is. Also, this is how you keep us together. 
by launching one of us out the airlock? It's gonna be a long ride to nowhere. She looks pretty rough, huh? Ugh. It smells even worse. Not that I'm surprised. After what we've put her through. We'll fix her up. She'll look and smell good as new. Yeah... We can fix this, right? Not so sure the ship's ever gonna be the same, Pete. Sorry. Think about, you know, with, uh... Ah, damn it, Pete. Drax. What I'm saying is, I know it must have been tough, but it was the right call. Glad I didn't have to make it. So, uh, yeah. I think his family would be proud. I hope he gets to see them again. Yeah, I don't, I don't really believe that, but nice thought. His family would be proud? Yeah, whatever you have to tell yourself, Peter. Oh, come on! Look around, Rocket. There are two less Guardians here, in case you haven't noticed. You need to back up. I just thought we had a leader who would fight for us. All of us. I just want to hear what he was thinking. I'm with Pete on this one. He wanted to jump! To save us! What's so hard to understand it's about It's hard that? to understand why you'd allow him to do that! Please, the anger is overwhelming. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna tell you one more time, lady. Back up. You back up. I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Don't. The guy did what he had to Stop do. Stop it, please. I ain't happy about Drax being gone, but I am happy to still be breathing. You should embrace that a little bit. That we can stand here having this stupid argument I at all. I trusted Peter to keep us all safe. I thought he understood that. <laughs> Look what you're doing to Mantis, huh? You think Drax would have wanted that? He gave his life so we could all still be together. Don't waste that. I never asked him to do that. I don't need anyone dying for me. Ah! I can't take it! There is too much conflict with you. Too much anger, resentment, and sadness. Your pain is overwhelming each of you. It's too much for me to be around. If you disagree with each other so much, why don't you all simply walk away? Your feelings for one another are all at war. Well, because we're family. And you don't quit on family. Like you didn't quit on Drax? Like Drax didn't quit on all of us? Like you're not gonna quit until we're all patronized to death? Being around you, this is too painful for me. Thank you for freeing me, and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. But I must go. That's gotta be some sort of record. She's basically been chained to us up until now gets two minutes of free will and we drive her away. I am Groot. I am proud of myself in a weird way. You're right about one thing, Peter. We are family. But Thanos was my family too. And sometimes being in a family sucks. So, good luck. Gamora, wait. Please, don't do this. It wasn't me who did this, Peter. It was you. I got one word for you, Pete. Yikes. I am Guru.
shoot. What? Why would you do that? What? What, what did he say? Groot, come on! I am Groot. He's going. He's leaving us. I am Groot. Peter? What about me? But... <laughs> Why? Yeah, explain this totally selfish decision. I am Groot. He says he doesn't want Mantis to be alone. I am Groot. That I have you. I am Groot. He knows what it's like to be the last of his kind and alone out there. I am Groot. And he knows how important it is to find someone to look out for you. I am... I am Groot. He says I need to stay and keep an eye on you. He's saying a bunch of sad stuff. I love you, buddy. I am Groot. My friend, I am Groot. Come here. I am Groot. Yeah, just go on, why don't you? trees had such big hearts, huh? What a jerk. Are you... crying? Crying? Nah. nah I'm just allergic to something in this hangar. Yeah. Yeah, allergic to tearful goodbyes, maybe. Shut up, Quill. Well, Rocket, I guess you'll be leaving, too. About that. I think I'm gonna stick around for a while. But you said you wanted to go. I know what I said. I was just considering my options. As is my right. I know. Well, what now? Only one thing left to do at a moment like this. Barkeep! Two of your most lethal concoctions, please. Better make it three. Best idea you've had in a long time. Eight or nine rounds, then we find Hall. We have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. Hey, Pete. I found her. I'll see if that drink maker can pour us something stronger. We're gonna need it. We need to talk. <laughs> 